So I finally sat down and uh, watched The Pope's Exorcist. Very good movie. Like, there's been a lot of exorcism movies over the last few years, so I'm like, okay, you know, it is what it is. But this particular one had nice pacing. I liked his uh, character that Russell Crowe played. Like, I, I like that he felt very human. Uh, they addressed a few things uh, about the church at that time. The exorcism thing was really cool. The storyline was really cool. If they wanted to continue this, this like, movie series or this story, I would be totally down for it. Uh, I like the religious things on it and the mysteries and the things as it opened up. I thought that was really well done. Everybody's performance was good. Uh, you also got to learn a bit on how hierarchies can work in the Catholic Church with bishops and uh, priests and nuns and the Pope and these different things. So I thought that was really cool and it was it was kind of a different way to go about it. Uh, there was a lot of disturbing things in it, but it was like a good disturbing uh, that I, I really liked. It was really cool just to see what was going on, to see how things worked, to see how this possession was a little bit different and why it was very focused on which priest that it wanted just the idea of the the premise and what it can do and what it means and I just thought wow there is so many ways they could have taken it but it was a good simple concise easy to follow yet very fun and enjoyable story it felt like there was a battle going on but then you got to learn the difficulties of being a priest to do that kind of work and what you have to face and what you have to to be and like how they had to like prep up uh what the story was like where the lo even the location like had a story behind it and i just thought all around uh this movie was very interesting uh some of the actors you've seen before anything like that it was more of a we were trying to, we were waiting on something. We were like, hey, you know what? My friend was like, I wanted to watch both actresses. And I was like, you know, I heard that was good. But I didn't watch it. But yeah, it really was. I like how they explain evil. Like, it, it felt like you were watching something enjoyable. And it wasn't sitting there trying to convert you. It was trying to tell you a story. And where the story went to where... Uh, the other like uh, priest in there and how they had to deal with it and kind of muddle through this and what forces he was up against and he was a little bit of a rebel and I thought that was cool and where they there was a situation that was going on that grew more I just thought wow Russell Crowe really played this part the co-stars the family that was being affected they really played the parts really well um, the story of what happened, why they were susceptible to this, um, and how it all came together. I just thought, you know, this was just a good movie. I had a fun time watching it. Um, I, I would definitely say, and this was a little surprise, I heard it was good, and I, I like a lot of these kind of movies, but sometimes they get a little repetitive and a little redundant, and even though... It followed those same kind of beats. It added its own flair to it. And the flair that it added to it was enough to make it, personally for me, stand out a little bit from the others. And I like when a priest is a little bit more human. Like there was real human reactions that he had. There was things that he said that you wouldn't normally hear a priest say. But it was because the reaction made sense. And I just thought that that was good it helped tell the story uh so all in all because i kind of watched it on a whim i also like the guy that played the pope and i just a, a, as well uh i don't know if it was pope john paul we think it was or he was supposed to be but they could have like inflected on some of the characters it's supposed to be based off of a real person but they can always take and embellish on some things um I think this took place in the 80s and 
I think Pope John Paul back then was from the 70s, like the late 70s, like 78, 79 throughout. So there you go. Um, all in all, there's another movie that I would totally say I had a good time. I think if you watch it, uh, it's a good watch at least once through just to see. I thought they did a really good job. And the funny part is the make the makeup work and some of the possession work was better than what they did in that, that Mummy movie, which is kind of wild. Uh, the the last Mummy, um, where the only good thing mainly was the Mummy Tom Cruise movie that was kind of toned. The tones were all over the place. So, yeah, I would say definitely a, a good time. It's what I had with it. I, I was pleasantly surprised on how much I enjoy it. And it was a movie I was like, I would sit down and watch this again. Without it, without an issue. Uh, it, it, and it was it was nice pacing. Like, it didn't feel like it dragged on. It just went, it jumped right in and just went boom, 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 boom. And then was done. But yet you got a little backstory. And they left enough breadcrumbs to say, hey, we made a sequel to this. We have something to build upon. Keep protagonists. You stay safe. You stay healthy. You stay real. And I'll see you.